outfits. And so it's blended well together with the environment and like the colors are cool. It's, it's, it's focus on the colors. Uh, I'm go now going to be discussing Mary Cassatt's women bathing. Um, uh, La Toilette uh, in, uh, in its title. Um, so my, my professor asked us, um, think about not only the subject matter, but also the, the narrative's tone with respect to the figure's activity. Um, address the formal issues of style. And he asked us to compare this print uh, to Utagawa's uh, Kunisada's Bathing with Octopus Komodo of, of Japan in 1858. Um, so, I, I mean, to, to begin, I, I, I want to talk about the composition of, of woman bathing. I, I, we have this painting that's, that's dictated by you know, structure. And, and so, the painting is enforced by its diversity of linear elements. The, the lines offer a paved way of, a, of less encouraged detail that sets the precedent of what the objects, you know, the furniture and the ideas, they are. I find that the reflection in the mirror is, is very excellent and accurate to a perspective of the, the self-image that the subject faces. The, the natural setting of a woman bathing is both vulnerable and strong. The woman's natural form is not put close to the divine. It's something that is natural. We feel as though we, we know her, that we can be up close and vulnerable with her. And it, it brings up to the, the discussion of everyone you know, having to bathe. And everyone has to wash themselves. We, we are put in this state of hygienic determination with our backs to the unknown. Um, as far as the color goes, it, it's very bright, light, bright, and clear. Uh, we can see how her curving spine is so delicately depicted by faint movement. We can also recreate this by reciting how one would bathe themselves. It's, it's a soft movement. It's a delicate stroke to, you know, wash yourself in. And her washing herself in the sink is, you know, it's vulnerable, it's, it's soft, it's innocent, it's... There's nothing hard about this painting. It's nothing that's going to challenge somebody. It's not going to hurt you in any way. This woman's fairly in, innocent and we're... We, we should feel as though we're, you know, creeping into her vulnerability with, with looking at it and, and studying it. Um, in, in terms of the comparison to uh, Takagawa Kunisada, the, the bathing with octopus kimono of 1858, here, here's the painting. Let's, let's look at it. I, I find that the artist is greatly inspired by, by the depiction of the woman in Japan bathing. Uh, similar to that, the artist is, is greatly inspired by, by the women in Japan. I mean, similar to the subject of vulnerability, in, in this painting, we see a woman in a similar garb to the cultural norm of the society. We, one could compare that the kimono is similar to the, the cotton slip dress that the woman is wearing in France, the, the night you know, very non-formal, you know, clothing. Um, it's, the, the, we can see the theme of Japanism, it, you could smell it. You could smell it from the painting. It's such, such, you know, symmetrical inspiration that it's almost as if this is the, the adopted sister. From the other side of the world, uh, from the West, and, uh, yeah. and a, a very, very similar theme. With that it, it would be highly improbable that that no inspiration was drawn from this. The, the inspiration of the art of the time, from the beautiful ways of depiction in Japan to France, is so strong. Um, 
I, I think that you could even note that the color patterns of the non-human objects, given their own titles by standalone colored variants, um, the, 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 the placement in Cassatt's painting of the vase embodies something from the East, as if the, the woman bathing had them ordered or purchased from the land of the Orient and brought to her. Cassatt's painting has similar linear structure to the defining elements to this painting as well. Here they are together. The, the structure reinforces the form of the bathroom and the stance of the woman. I, I, also the touch of the bare foot of the French woman and the Japanese woman is similar. You know, typically women were not painted in bare feet. And it's interesting to be so close to the vulnerability to both women in these two paintings. I think that it's, it's very interesting.